It's time to go to GitHub and clone your project. But before we can clone our project, we need to fork the main project. So find your way to the URL for your section's project. It's going to be different than the one you see on the screen right now. Move your way up into the upper right of GitHub and fork the project. By forking the project, you're going to make sure that you're working on your version of the project and not anyone else's. In the top left of the screen, once you're done, you can see that you'll, you should see your username and that the project was forked from another project. If you don't see that, well, you might be in the wrong place or you might have done it wrong. So, at that point, move to the big green button and copy the URL of your HTTPS git clone. Now, open up a terminal at your AAU folder for your website server. Your terminal might look a little bit different than mine. That's okay. At this point, we want to git clone our URL. When we've cloned the URL, you should notice that in Sublime Text right away, folder with the files shows up. Let's try to rename this file. It doesn't seem to want to rename. Sometimes Sublime Text is weird and takes control of files. I'm going to close Sublime Text for a second and I'm going to go in the terminal and move that folder. I'm going to move the WNM608 example to just WNM608. There we go. Now our project has our name for our website, and we're ready to make our user folder. Inside the WNM608 folder, add a new folder and call it your last name dot your first name. With that folder, let's make a new file. Let's save this file as readme.md. And this will now be the file that has information for our project that will be viewable on GitHub itself. So, let's put our name, and then let's put some relevant links. If you open this page up in the browser, Probably not a whole lot will happen. It's just a text file. But if you now were to put this up onto GitHub, you might see a README like the one that we had in the class project. So now that we've made our folder and made our README, let's push our project up to GitHub. In our terminal, Let's go ahead and get status. We're not even in the right folder. Let's list out the folders and files of this folder, and let's change directory to the WNM608 folder. Now, let's get status one more time. What we can see here is that we have files that have been added into this folder but they have never been committed into our Git repository. So let's git add all of the files in this folder, including all the files in any subfolders. If we git status again, you can see that now we have a new file ready to be staged. So, sorry, 
we have a new file already on the stage. Let's commit that file to our repository. Git commit and then let's give it a message. First commit. We can see that one file was changed with three insertions. At this point, what we're going to do is git push origin master. It's entirely possible that during this process, Git will ask you for a little bit more information, perhaps a username and an email. If Git tells you to do something, do it. Learn to read the Git messages because they will oftentimes tell you exactly what you should do. Now that we've pushed the project up to GitHub, if we refresh our browser, we can see that our folder now shows up and that our URLs are now present in the readme.md for our user folder. Now we're ready to start working on our files.